Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Visual Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to use the tab function for text in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve right now on the edit page and here I'm just going to bring a text plus in my timeline. And together today we're going to see how to use the tab spacing function in DaVinci Resolve. This will allow us to create multiple columns of text using only one text title or only one text node if you're using it in Fusion. So here we're going to go over to our text. Let's say we want to make a column for each month of the year. So I'm going to start with January and to create the tab, I'm just going to hit space and then hit the tab keyboard. And then I can just write my next month, February, hit space, tab again, then March. And you might say yes, but what's the point? Because I could have just hit space on my keyboard and get the same result. Yes, but no, if you hit here, the tab spacing, we'll have more control over the spacing and alignment of those. So first to be able to see that, we're gonna switch here from transform to fusion overlay. And now we're able to see some more control and we can directly move things easily around here on the viewer. And we can also move this around right here in the type spacing. So here we have the positions, for example, and we have the alignment as well. So right now it's centered, but we could have it aligned left or aligned right. You might notice that right now I have the tab one selected and it's affecting my second text, not the first one, because the first one is acting as tab zero. So you can adjust the alignment of the first text right here with the anchor and the position, you know, uh, with the layout as usual, as you will do uh, with any text or directly on screen. This first text will be your tab zero. Then the second text will be tab one, then tab two, tab three, so on and so forth. So now we can just easily create a layout by spacing them with each other. And the advantage of it is to make it just easier, not having too many titles or too many nodes and to be able to have everything in one place. So here, if I want to change the font, for example, it will affect the entire text and I will not have to change that for each individual text. So that's just a great tool to know about whenever you're doing infographic or whenever you're gonna have a layout with a lot of text. It's great to be efficient and stay organized. I hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see next and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.